hello people welcome back to my channel my name is ola yemika but most people call me ola and you know this is catching up with ola where you kind of like catch up with all the gist i have to share and also catch up on funding details how you can move to the us and everything in between in today's video as you can see from the title i'll be telling you why i moved from nigeria to the us you know i know you know i've documented the process and i'm going to put my admission story somewhere on the screen i've also you know told you how you can you know like move to the us without any agents i'm also going to put that on the screen because i did it myself without any agent but you know before you take certain decisions there has to be a reason why i decided to move to the us and that is what you know we'll be uncovering in today's video why i decided to leave nigeria why i decided to live my life in nigeria to move to the us because first off i said it in one of my video and i believe solely that when you move abroad you are starting your life from the very beginning so if you are starting your life from the very beginning why did i leave nigeria why did i leave the life i had in nigeria to start from the very beginning in the u.s so that's what we'll be uncovering today so you know sit take a seat okay sit back <laughs> grab your popcorn grab your juice grab your notes because you know you'll be learning one or two things from this and please do not forget to give my video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share my video with your friends um what else what else what else did they say <laughs> Turn on the bell notification so that you get notified every time I have a new video and comment down below. Yeah, I want to hear your thoughts, so comment down below, okay? And so, you know, the first reason why I left my life in Nigeria to come to the US is for education. For majority of you that don't know, I came to the US on F1 visa. F1 visa is simply a visa that is for students okay so i came to the us on f1 visa and if you don't know i did my bachelor's in nigeria i did my bachelor's in nigeria i went to the most beautiful campus in africa the best university in nigeria and i know some people are already shouting if you don't know the best university in nigeria that is oau great ife great ife great ife africa's most beautiful campus we are conscious vigilant progressive a luta against all oppression forward ever backward never for learning and culture sports and struggles great if i love you there's only one great if in the universe another great if is a counterfeit great 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 even my paper felt the effect of the great effect stop playing hey good or it's the right side i went to the best university in nigeria and maybe perhaps even the best university in africa great effect so if you are from great effect if you are currently in great effect or you graduated from great effect please put it in the comment section i want to know you know my sisters my brothers and my sisters okay so yeah i went to i did my bachelor's in nigeria and you know during my undergraduate days there were some things that didn't resonate with me you know like constantly struggling like the sun said for sports and struggle you know constantly struggling just because you know i wanted to like achieve a bachelor's degree so in for my undergrad i did my undergrad in english and education and honestly i was thinking that i was just going to go to the english line because i didn't like education at first but you know as time went on and particularly with the fact that you know like i had to struggle for everything during my undergrad you know struggle to register for classes struggle to find a seat in class struggle to do you know the basic necessity in like being a student so i decided to create a change and you know i decided to create a change to the system and after i left school i remember when i was in 300 level that was when you know my interest for education started you know like started growing because we did like a course called psychology of education and you know it exposed me to you know different ways why students fail to learn and i just you know sat down and i'm like okay maybe people are not learning not because uh they are not brilliant but because maybe the school system is not prepared for them to be able to learn appropriately so you know i had that at the back of my mind and i was you know like looking into you know doing things that would you know like change the education system in nigeria okay 
So, you know, after school, I spoke with one of my auntie in Unilag, you know, telling her that I wanted to, you know, um, move into student affairs. And she told me that, you know, like the way it is in Nigeria, blah, 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 blah. You know, you get a position, you keep moving up, then you move to student affairs. But I know that that wasn't what I wanted in life, right? So, you know, I just started, you know, started looking for courses. I didn't see any student affairs course. So I saw educational psychology. Um, so I was bent on, you know, doing educational psychology. I was going to do it in Unilag. And I know you might be wondering, why did you say OAU is the best school? And why did you go and do your master's in Unilag? Like we know, Lagos is just the land of opportunity. I was already working and I still wanted to do my master's. So Unilag people, don't come here and be capping that air, but you came to Unilag as well. Unilag is also good. You know, after OAU, I'm going to say the next school is Unilag. I said what I said, period. And for people that are not Nigerians, Unilag is University of Lagos. So, you know, I um I took the form for Unilag. And on the day of the entrance exam, I feel like that was what just, you know, like confirmed my doubt that, you know, I was done with Nigeria's education system. On the day of the exam, you know, after studying past questions, after doing a lot, on the day of the exam, the exam was typically like further mathematics. And I was like, what is this? Like, <laughs> this was not what was in the question. Like, I am coming from like English background. I'm coming from English education background. And I was expecting to, you know, like see questions from like education, like a general education question. Even if there will be mathematics, like let all the questions be fair. Let it cut across the same thing so i was very angry with myself because honestly i thought i wasn't even going to get the admission because i was like i did my best thankfully when i was in secondary school i liked mathematics so that really helped me but you know secondary school you know i already did four years in college and now you know doing exam and no and doing mathematics but i did it eventually i got the admission but after that night when i came you know i just started researching like i was so desperate i started researching and i said it's my um admission story so watch that story as well so that everything can you know like can tie together so you know and i saw like you know like the us is like the best place for me to study student affairs when i was researching i remember that i was also looking at countries like canada like i'm just going to see what i can get then i saw that us is like the best place for me to study so you know yeah and then i moved so that is why i moved that is the number one reason why i left my life in nigeria and i came to the us for education advancement also you know i wanted a top class education and like we know schools in the u.s are like part of like the top schools in the world so i'm like you know why not why, why not if you know if i could you know get something better why not so that is why the next thing is like career opportunity um really like every story like i shared you already know like you know the u.s is like a land for career opportunity you know i wanted something that we you know that will grow my career like i said i spoke to my auntie that works at Unilag and she told me like the process to get into student affairs first of it looked like a very long process second of i felt like there was no fulfillment in it because she said like you just get like a normal like position like maybe you're a lecturer or normal administrative position like you start from the lowest level and like mainly people that start from the lowest level are people that don't even have like a bachelor's degree and i'm like i have a bachelor's degree why am i going to have to start from the lowest level like collecting how much did they call it? Like maybe 50,000 per month. So I wanted career opportunity. I know that was made for greatness. And I really wanted to pursue the greatness. And, you know, looking at like US universities, I saw that, you know, there were a lot of career opportunities. Not only will I, you know, be getting like the theoretical aspect, which is like the education aspect, but I would also be exposed to, you know, the practical aspect. I would network with people and all. So that is another reason why I came. And I know some of you might be wondering, so since you came, do you feel like your career is flourishing? Yes, my career has been flourishing since I came. Everything has been working smoothly. Of course, there are ups and downs. And I feel like that is how it is with, you know, whether you're in Nigeria, whether you are whether you are in like your in another country or whatever i feel like that is it with every career you know there will be ups there will be down but i actually find fulfillment in the career i find fulfillment in whatever i'm doing right now in the next five years it could change but right now i find fulfillment in what i'm doing so the next one is like career exposure no not career exposure exposure and diversity cultural exposure and diversity you know i'm a full-blown Yoruba woman. I'm a Yoruba name your swagger. Eh, mm, 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 swagger. Eh, eh. Female, baby, female. 
Me o share more baby female. So I am a full blown Yoruba woman. And in Nigeria, like if you don't know, like I was born in a Yoruba land, born and bred in a Yoruba land, went to school in a Yoruba land. Like literally, I've actually never left the southwest region of Nigeria. The only place I've gone to is Edo. And that's because my mom's sister stays in Edo. Like aside from that, I've actually been in the confine of southwest and i know i did my service at north central but honestly the north central was not nothing because i did my service in ilori and majorly like people that were speaking you but like were the one dominating ilori the most so you know i just thought to myself that you know i wanted a little bit of diversity to my life and not just diversity within you know like nigeria of course you know Igbo, Iausa, ibibio aqua ibom and all i wanted like a diversity with nation i wanted to be able to you know um network with people outside of nigeria and honestly i was able to achieve that goal because right now like i have friends from you know different countries countries that I actually never heard about when i was in nigeria so actually you know um i achieved that goal of you know like cultural diversity i achieved that goal so yeah that's another reason why i wanted to move and also exposure like we all know it's not even just about the u.s when you leave your country you are exposed to how things are done in another country you are exposed to you know like particularly in the u.s you are exposed to high technology you are exposed to you know different way of life and because the u.s is a diverse state you are exposed to different cultures traditions and and yeah whatever it is and so the last one is that i wanted to fulfill my american dream i feel like this is everything that caps it all for me i wanted to fulfill my american dream you know when i was a little child I've heard tales about America, you know, America is this, America is perfect, America, everybody, you know, keeps talking about the American dream and all. And now that I'm talking about the American dream, I did a video where I asked myself if I am achieving the American dream. Now that I'm in America, am I achieving the American dream? I'm also going to put that video on the screen. Skip that video and watch. But like I was saying, um, I thought that, you know, America was perfect. When I came, of course, I achieved that American dream, okay? Because I think a major proponent of the American dream is if you're hardworking, you'll be successful, which is not the same back home because I just felt like I was struggling, I was hardworking, but I wasn't really, like, I was not receiving the pop success that was proportional to the hard work I was putting. But right now, like, I, I, I work hard, I receive the success, if you get what I'm saying. So that's something that I wanted. I wanted a situation where my hard work would equate to success, which is like a major proponent of the American dream, which, of course, I have achi achieved I and I am still achieving. Then the other part of, like, the American dream, like I said, when I was a little child, like, you know, they used to tell us that America is perfect. Like, honestly, like, I had so many weird thoughts about America. I'm like, does it rain in America? Do they da 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 do they steal are they homeless people blah 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 but in come when i came to america i realized that like nowhere is actually perfect like there's no perfect place actually nigeria is not perfect america is not perfect nowhere in the world is perfect if you're actually looking for perfection then we have to wait till when jesus comes and it takes us away and we get to heaven because heaven is a perfect place so yeah so this concludes my story i think with these few points of mine i have been able to convince and not confuse you on the reason why I chose to move my life away from Nigeria and I chose to move it to the US and I'm making this video just so that you know the reason and it's not just about you know like selling a particular country like if you are doing good in Nigeria for yourself honestly like I would say stay in Nigeria like even when people you know send me messages and they be like oh this is you know like how I'm doing in Nigeria and I really want to you know move to the US blah 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 and the states they are I'm just going to be like for my own personal view I think you know staying in Nigeria is better because trust me if you come to the US you are literally starting from the scratch you are starting from the scratch like you are starting your life from the very beginning and some of them you know some of them will be like okay i still want to do it some of them will be like okay that's true you know i'm just gonna stay so like i'm just stating the reason because you know like the jackpot syndrome is currently on the rise right now and majority of people are just living without having like a specific reason why they are leaving their own country and yeah so that's just it i just you know decided to state my own story so this is my story if you like my story do not forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel um subscribe to my channel share my video to your friends comment down below if you are from where you are from uni 
if you're already in the us just whatever if any of my story resonates with you just comment down below and i'll see you in my next video i love you bye